All right, folks, we are back for round two. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, there's a problem in the end. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not a big fan of going down to five. If we draw a bounce land, the hand becomes great. If we draw two lands, it's also pretty good. We have a scry, we are on the draw. So basically, before we need the first land, we have one scry and two draw steps. So we'll see three cards. Here we have like, what, 15 land left, plus some two mana ram spells. I think it's really close. I could see mulliganing, but I think I'll keep. Going down to five in limited is really, really rough. Obviously this could go wrong, but like two lands and we can play our entire hand pretty much. And we have very good reinfall. Hopefully it's not a Shriek Geist, and yes, of course, it's going to be a Shriek Geist. <laughs> yeah, if we get stuck on land against the uh, aggro start from the meal deck, we are going to be in trouble, obviously. Mind crank, okay. Well, if we do draw lands, this is going to be very good against a mind crank. I'm just going to stagger shock that thing now. Don't want them to run into mana leak. Could wait for them to play something else and then we get whatever else they play. But if they don't do anything this turn, I'm also rather happy, so. All right. I should probably have not play my land first because they could think I'm screwed and this could bait a count spell. Looks like they just have six and they don't have a count spell, but. Um. Hoarding dragon. Uh, well, the Gavin doesn't have any black mana yet. I think dealing with dragons is not going to be easy, so we can probably just jam that. Uh, I think Mind Stone of our third monument here. Oh, well, they do. They drew black. They drew black. We know they don't have a count spell though, because again they have six on the priest turn, which means. Even if they go Doomblade, they cannot Grizzly Spectacles, so it would have to be Doomblade pre-match, I think. And if they, even if they go Doomblade uh, attack, we can still Spectacle the Shriek Geist, or drop the Whelp. And we should be fine. Not a bit f big fan of Minecrank. A lot of the meal creatures are pretty small. And then it's pretty bad against Reinvol, so yeah, I don't know. Smokes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right, they got one card. We could attack, play Whelp and pass, but we run into possibly, um, how it's called, Ulcerate as a removal that wasn't able to kill the dragon, but that could kill the Whelp. Taking damage with that on the battlefield is pretty risky too. I guess we get meal for three if we just... If we just go Spectacle the Spy attack, get me for three, but then it's eight card in the yard because something you ha things you have to think about are also Jace Phantasm, which is a five, five for one if we have 10 cards in the yard and white of the precinct. So against the meal deck, I'd rather really make sure I stabilize well and I don't get meal because things can get out of hand.
I think the line is spectacle the spy. The remaining question is do we trade four damage for three cards in our yard? I think we don't have to and we don't want to. And since they haven't shown any count spell, I think we can just pass and probably spectacle at the end of their turn. They might just play something better. Alright. They got the Charm Breaker Devils and the land. We have a lot of removal, as well as in general bigger creature than they have. So our plan is probably just to play it controlly and safe. Make sure we don't get milled too badly. And win with our larger creatures when they run out of gas. They did have an ulcerate, it felt like they had one. Interesting. They did it pre-combat. Maybe they have another ulcerate. I'll happily trade my hoarding dragon for Shriekgeist. And an ulcerate, like no problem. So this probably indicates that they really need the meal doing you know a bad trade like that so i think we'll just you know one more reason to spectacle the uh the thingy yes yeah, so we have nine cards in the yard which is pretty good number i mean if we ever use a reinvol it's gonna be 10 anyways but it's cool that we are not oh well i guess now it's more two blade wings to the to the bean plus the hell kite uh, kind of sucks, but I feel like the oven might be just running out of gas slowly here. We'll just go mine stone whelp and hopefully we don't get... Yeah, Glim's pretty busted in the set. They Hopefully they don't go chase phantasm, chase phantasm. Reef soul is not a big deal. So valid broker is something we need to deal with. Um, I guess we'll go Monument Spectacle. They might have drawn a Reinvol in the meantime, so we'll just, you know, play it safe. Good thing that we have 2 4 4 on the battlefield and we don't have to rely on the Lone Whelp to win the game. Okay, Roar's not bad. We'll just go Compass, Whelp, probably draw off the Mind Stone unless we need to um, Roar something. Nah, do we really want to draw? Oh, they top deck to Chase Phantasm. That sucks. Now they have a blocker for our 4-4s. Four That is not ideal. I think we draw. That was good. Let's actually try to get rid of that first. So we play a little bit better around Mana Leak if we do that first. I mean, if they have Mana Leak, they can still counter the Crucible. But if we get to kill that, we don't really care. Looks like they have a counter. They top deck one in the meantime. Oh, glee. All right. <sighs> okay, buddy. Um, well, with the mind crank on the battlefield, we can't really race here. No, I guess... <sighs> we have a two turn clock on them. They can mill us for five, but they die. 
It also plays much better around the Rainfall spell. Whatever we do, we cannot beat a uh, how it's called. We die to another Butcher's Glee, which sucks, but I don't think it's super likely. They need to top deck anyway. We cannot beat a uh, Grizzly Spectacle of their own, whatever we do. And this means they are just dead next turn. If they have nothing and they can't kill us. Right, just gonna check. But we take five. Yeah. <laughs> It's just bad if they top deck exactly another Glee, I think. Or something that mills us for two. Pretty much everything else is fine, though. Definitely gonna go for the kill here. Damage? Alright. Phew! That was a close one. They have pretty solid meal deck with Gleams. Doorkeeper I think is pretty bad in the meal deck. I think it's good in wall in meal. Like, they probably have like something like 3-ish walls, so it's just very slow and clunky, I think. Should guess much better. Uh, Gleams always frightening. Okay. Against the meal deck, so Balighted Scorpion does get the Chase Phantasm before they grow bigger, the Shriek Geist and the Doorkeeper, that's a lot of things. I feel like we can cut a Crucible and a Weld for Scorpions. I think they just match up better against what the oven's doing. And you kind of want a bunch of Reinvol in this matchup. I guess Dragon Eggs kind of stinks. We'd rather have an extract to kill those cheap flyers before they hit us. And I guess we could add more cards so we don't get milled, but the thing is that the meal deck in this set is more about getting enough cards in the yard for Chase Phantasm and uh, White of the Precinct anyway, so it's not like they are not gonna kill you by, you know, you have no more cards in the yard really. So I think playing more, because sometimes a strategy in limited is obviously just to, you know, run 45, 46 card and then it means maybe one of their, you know, one mana mill five spell is dead. Not dead, but you can, it's it's pretty much like choosing to start the game with more life. But again, this mill deck in these sets, not really about that, so. I think we'll just go like that. We have a lot of Rainbow and a much better late game, so I think we are fine in this matchup, but it's always frightening to play against Meal. I don't know, there's something that frightens me every time. Even though, you know, it, it, I don't know, it's just psychologic, I guess, because it's not like... It's not worse than... Uh, ooh, the Nut Draw. Yeah, it's not worse than uh, losing life. Like it's, I, it's a little bit frustrating, maybe because they are attacking your uh, library. I don't know, but it should not be this way. But somehow, it always feels a little bit more frustrating to me. All right, well, good. They did not have to turn to Shriek Geist. It might be a mind crank here. Nope. Hopefully, we just draw mana, basically. <laughs> Yeah, or just two seven drops in a row. Classic. At least Blade Wings the reason's pretty good against meal in the eyes of, um, you know, them milling us, basically. <laughs> so they could play a Balustrade Spy here. And if they do, we kind of want to Stagger Shock, then Stagger Shock the Spy, and uh, Phantom Monster, or do the same thing, but with Fundamental Monster. The thing being, you know, using the rebound and the extract to kill it. Uh, for... Alright. And we are a little bit stuck. A little bit stuck on land, which could prove problematic. Bounce land would be amazing here. Broker is annoying, but like... 
Hmm. I don't really want to let them do that, actually. I'm just going to Doom Blade. Could Rage try to find a land, but... Okay, that's good for us. Kind of, I guess. I mean, that's a good target for the Scorpion. If it resolves, and if we draw first land. So Scour myself, getting a Spectacle, Doom Blade. Alright, buddy. Can we draw a land? Alright, very good. Now we get a clean 2 for 1. We dealt with already like four of their threats, and hopefully they, you know, they they don't have a lot more going on. And when you kill a bunch of their creature, like cards like Minecrank and whatnot, also becomes a lot more clunky. Playing a bunch of Thought Scours could lead to be a little bit flooded, because you you know it's a country but without any card selection. Uh, fur, no problem, buddy. I'm actually pretty happy to put an, a Hellkite in my yard because not have cast that thing anytime soon. We'll cast Rager, try to hit a land for Compass. No such luck, but I think it's slightly better line than... Uh... Just playing Compass. Nine cards in the yard. Okay, well... Damn, they drew their games every game so far. That's pretty good. Um... Yeah, I mean, Furnace Wolf's nice and all, but with Bladewing in hand and Hellkite in the yard, it feels way more appealing to just get up to 7 mana. I believe. <laughs> and we also have a Malfigor, actually, I just realized. Which doesn't look like it's going to be very relevant, but... Mm, they could be holding a count spell here. Uh, we still jam our things, I, f I believe. We haven't seen any count spell yet. Uh, yeah, Hellkite. Yes, please. Five to your face. And unless they have another glimpse, we should be good to go. But I mean, limited games where you get double glimpse, like, feels bad, but not a lot you can do. I guess if they have another. No, another spectacle is not gonna be good enough. Alright, a little bit frightening. They got the glimpse every game, but our reinvol did a pretty good work, and we got there. Alright, that was round two. Uh, thanks for watching and see you for the final.